In the next few minutes, I'll walk you through how to use Plus 500, one of the most beginner-friendly trading platforms in 2024. Whether you're trading stocks, forex, or commodities, this guide will help you start confidently. So first of all, what exactly is this Plus 500? So this is a trading platform that lets you trade CFDs on stock, and of course can help you with forex, cryptocurrencies, commodities, and more. It's known for its simple interface, competitive fees, and demo account for practice. So in today's tutorial, you want to start trading using a demo account. You have the link down below in the description if you want to get started early for free. Inside here are the plus 500. Let's click into start the trading. This is the part where we wanted to create our account. So in order to continue, we can go directly with the real money section or to choose the account mode of the demo mode. The demo mode can help you to practice trading with real quotes. So you can see like how it's going to be working, how we can check out the tools and the commodities that are into the plus 500. So if you're just starting out to win the demo account, I'm going to focus into email as well as a fast code and create my account. Once you are inside this section, let's don't focus into the notifications. But check out here that we are inside this dashboard. This is the part where you wanted to have a quick overview about it. So into the left part, we have the menu. We have the trade elements. We have the open positions. We can view open trades. We can check out our funds. The inside, closed position, orders, and open positions. All of this, of course, uh, when you buy or when you sell a button into the trade screen to start opening new positions. So how to search for a few assets. Into the upper side, you can see that we have the money that you have currently available, the equity, the margin, and the profit and the loss. So as you are getting started with positions and more trades, you might be seeing how the margin and the profit and loss are going to be changing when you get started. So to get started, usually here, let's focus into this left section that says funds. So here I have the equity. So to use filters, for example, I can add a set demo funds and enter the amount that I would like to add. For example, let's say this amount and I go for submit. This amount should be added into my account. Now, I'm going to go back directly into the trade section. So we can start focusing into an, a specific assets. So assets is where you can find stocks and cryptocurrencies to buy or to sell. So here I needed to fund my account with at least this amount to get this bonus and here's my bonus code. Let's don't focus in that for now. Now into the section of the most popular, we can use filters to browse assets by category, such as the indices, the commodities, or the cryptocurrencies. This is totally depending on how would you like to get started. For example, let's go and focus for this section, going for Netflix, for example. And you can see that Netflix has an instrument that has the changes, the selling, the buy, high, and low. That means that here, down here, we have an actual graphic. A graphic is going to be helping us to understand the current sell rate as we are passing the time. So this is for the last one hour. We can change it for the last five hours, for one day, one week, one month, three months, and so on. So to place a trade, we can select an asset and click into buy and sell. And we can enter the amount that we wanted to trade and sell and stop loss or take profit level. Uh, to manage your risk. The profit refers to, on to how much money you have spent into one instrument when you make the purchase. If I make the purchase of one product, for example, into 100 and the product a few hours later cost $102 and I sell the product, my profit should be $2. So I invest $100 for one instrument and when I sell it, I earned two dollars, and I can use those hundreds to make another purchase and look out for more profits. The more money you have, the more profit you get, the more chances to get really great sales and buys and changes. So, if you're new to trading, guys, you can start with a Tremor account. This mode lets you practice trading with virtual funds. So, the Plus 500 offers excellent risk management tools. We have the stop loss automatically closed uh, trade if it hits a certain loss. When you check out one trade that we would like to purchase, we can select the amount of shares that we would like to purchase. So this is the amount that needs to be required for the margin. 
If you watered it, let's say for example, only focus with one quarter power fat, this is the cost of it. And this is the actual value. So this is the required margin. And if I, and if I enable the closed at the profit, that means that when the profit reaches this amount, the profit of course should be ended and the product should be sold. And I can close this at loss. So that means that when this product reaches this amount of uh, loss, I will sell automatically. So this is a risk. So this is something that can be really helpful when you are just getting started. Hidden to buy and you now have access to the instrument and here's the position. Now, if you have this arrow into red, that means that we have a profit of lost. If you have the arrow into the green, that means that we have a little bit more value and we can start adding a little bit of profit. You needed to know when to sell and when would you like to purchase a little bit more. Into the left part, you can see the available money that I currently have. And this one has been changing constantly. Now, if I click into the insights, I can check out the most traded, our profit, our possessions, the instruments that we currently have, and more merchants. Checking out the orders can be helping us to check out the type and the value of what we actually made so far. So in this case, for example, I make the pot chase from Netflix of 874. So when I'm ready to sell, I can go back directly into the trade, select sell, and go for continue. If you're ready to start with real money, we can focus into the low pod and enable the real money here. And the demo mode should be deactivated in order to start with real money. Remember the trading involves risk, so always start small. Use risk management tools and never trade more than you can afford to lose. So with practice and discipline, you can make the most of lose to 500. If you find this tutorial helpful, like this video and subscribe for more trading tips. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you next time.